y'all and welcome to today's video. I am actually feeling a little under the weather today, but UPS just delivered my order from ColourPop and I have the full collection from Disney, Tinkerbell, and ColourPop and I want to put it on my eyes. I'm very excited. We're going to swatch everything. We are going to put the makeup on, but I just wanted y'all to know I'm not feeling my best today. My skin is not looking its best today. So bear with me. Okay. Bear with me if the energy is a little low. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't care. I want to swatch. I want to play with makeup. So thank y'all so much for being here to play with me today. I have the palette. Listen, I want the full collection. I have the palette. I have the lip colors. I have the super shocks, the eyeliners, the cheek products, everything. We're going to swatch it. We're going to talk about packaging, everything. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here on my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter trying new Disney collabs. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new content every single week. All right, y'all, let's have some fun with this makeup. I was so excited. I don't always, I don't often buy full collections, but everything about this spoke to me. I was like, Tinkerbell, she's so, so cute. So I bought this on launch day and it's finally here. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? Okay. You've probably seen this all over Instagram. So many people have done videos on this. They got this in um, PR, but I mean, this is like glitter on the packaging like the stars are glitter it says believe in fairies this is the packaging for the super shock trio you have believe in fairies here and it's a metallic gold it's just so stunningly beautiful and then the super shock cheeks all came in these packaging which is just adorable it says happy thoughts darling um, Magic Moon, of course, like still that glittery, beautiful Tinkerbell packaging. The lips, where are the boxes? Here we go. <laughs> the lip products came in the gorgeous packaging and then the liners came in the gorgeous packaging. And of course I have the palette. We're going to swatch everything, but I need to put a lip color on. I feel like I'm looking washed out. I want to put a lip color on. So let's do that first. Let's swatch these and let's put these on. I bought both of these. Now I have one other lip product from ColourPop in this formula. It's a red and I liked it. Okay. But I wanted to try it in more like neutral mauve maybe some like nude pink type of colors to kind of get my feel for it better. So I bought both of these. Okay. So this formula is the glossy lip stain. Yes. Glossy lip stain. So I bought the color. Is this is the name of this Tinkerbell and the other one is named clap. If you believe I'm going to have everything linked down below right now. I'm pretty sure this is exclusive to the ColourPop site. But if I find it anywhere else, I'll link it down below for you if it comes to Ulta or something. I'm not sure. I haven't heard if it is. But I bought mine straight from ColourPop. Okay, this is the shade Tinkerbell. That's beautiful. That might be the shade we wear today. And the other shade, Clap, if you believe. And again, I mean, I'm going to keep talking about the packaging. You have gold tank right here on the front, which I think is so cute. Okay, Clap, if you believe. Oh, these are my type of colors. I can see myself wearing these types of colors daily. So here's clap if you believe. Let's go in with this one today, actually. It's a little bit deeper. Ooh, I like it. Okay, I never, ever, ever skip lip liner. Gosh, my skin is peeling. Sorry about that, y'all. I never skip lip liner. So I'm just going to use this from Juvia's Place. Let me see. I bet this is Koala. Yeah. I'm just going to put 
this on. Okay, I zoomed y'all in some more, so hopefully you can see a little bit better. But I'm gonna take a cloth of heel lead. Gonna get up close with my mirror. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm going over the lip liner. And around the lip. I really like this applicator. If you can see, it's a pointed doe foot, which I think is really nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just got it way over there. I really like this color and I really like this formula. Uh, both of these have a very, very fine shimmer to them, but nothing overpowering. It's definitely not like a glitter on the lips. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, next up, I bought the Super Shock Cheek Trio. So I love the ColourPop Super Shock formula, whether it's like eye shadow formulas or cheek formulas. I really enjoy it. So this came in three different colors. We'll swatch them. Again, the boxes, like the packaging is so cute. Like you have this key with the gold stars on it. I love it. So yes, I bought all three. If you've never tried a super sock, yes, I love saying super sock. It's so much easier. They're like a, like a cream type of product. Well, they really are like a cream. I mean, they are a cream. This color, yes. Okay, so this is the color Darling. Look at that. That's like a blush with a sheen. Not really metallic, but ooh, there's a beautiful sheen there. That's probably the one we're going to wear today. Now with Super Shock Formula, it's good to put the cap on nice and tight. I like that they screw the cap on. It makes it really nice. This is Happy Thoughts. Now this looks like for deep skin, it could be a really beautiful highlighter. For me, I feel like this might be a little deep. So I'm kind of expecting it to be maybe like a highlight slash blush topper. Oh no, I think I can make that work as a highlight. That's really pretty. We'll test it on as a highlight on my skin. I think it will work actually now that I see it in person. But if this is too deep on you, I think this will be a beautiful blush topper. Oh, that's really pretty. And again, I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive, but the name of the blush is on the front, which I think is cute. And you have Tinkerbell like, ah, so happy on the front, which is fun. The next blush shade is Darling. And it's pretty pretty it's more of like a kind of coral color oh all right let's see if we can swatch that one right here oh that's gonna look beautiful like a sun-kissed type of look whereas this is gonna be more like bronzed this is gonna be more sun-kissed oh that's pretty mm. i'm gonna only wear one blush and one is highlight today but let me know, give this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments if you want me to do like a second look and try the other lip color and the other blush. Maybe I can do that like on Instagram. Definitely let me know if you want to see that. I can put that on Instagram for sure. Okay, so I'm going to grab my e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to go right in to this blush. What shade did I say this was? Magic Moon. Oh, I love it. This is such a pretty collection. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love the Super Shock formula so much. And this is just beautiful. That is creating such a beautiful blushed look. Let's go in over here. Wow. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, did I just find my new favorite blush ever? That is really pretty. Okay, I'm going to quit saying how beautiful it is because y'all get it. Y'all get it. It's beautiful, okay? It is beautiful. Let's try the highlighter now. Again, the name of the highlighter is Happy Thoughts. All right, I'm going to pick up Happy Thoughts with my Sigma brush. 
Oh, isn't that beautiful? The blush gave a sheen on its own, but this took it to the next level. Oh, that is so beautiful. With my big cheeks, I do bring my highlight down a little bit lower. I just think it looks cute and I like it. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm really into this shade. Cause they just like, they sink into the skin. You know, I hate when highlighters sit on top of the skin and they just look so, ugh. You know, you don't ever want that stripe of highlight on your face, at least I don't. And the Super Shock formula just really sinks into the skin so well. I love everything, everything, everything about this. Okay, next up we have the star of the show, the palette. This says sprinkle a little magic and this is a pressed powder palette. I love when ColourPop does this cardboard packaging. It feels nice and luxurious. You have a beautiful mirror inside with Tink herself right over here. The shades inside are beautiful. I had a few people ask me when I talked about this in my judging new makeup, if I felt like I had a dupe to this in my collection, I definitely don't. These are more neutral, I think. Can you see? Like, they definitely have a mauve undertone, but I felt like in some of the promo pictures from ColourPop, these looked very pink, whereas they don't. They look more mauve neutral in real life. This is so beautiful. The inside is beautiful. Everything about this is so pretty. Like, I don't want to touch it. It's that pretty. Okay, what we'll do is we'll just hand swatch together. I really like doing that. I think that's fun. Let's do the four mattes first. So a second star is kind of this creamy neutral type of shade. Like very, a little bit lighter than my skin, okay? Next we have Big Magic right here definitely a neutral mauve tone very pretty all right next up i have the shade sleep which is a matte green really pretty and then awake which is this deep matte here let me swatch it right here for you deep matte shade Ooh, i like that all right here are the five shimmers in the palette these are beautiful. I love that they did not go with the monochromatic color story. We have these greens, a gold, and then this pretty like, what would you call that? Like almost a bronze purple mixed together down there. I think that's so beautiful. Um, so let me go ahead and we'll start on an eye look and then we'll look at the Super Shocks and the eyeliner. Okay, I primed my eyes with my MAC paint pot. I did not set it with powder. I never do. It's just paint pot. And maybe we'll do like three colors in the crease so we can use as many as possible. So I'm going to go in with Big Magic. We are going to do a colorful look today though. I really want to mainly make this a green Tinkerbell look, but I am glad they put in, you know, they gave us enough that if we want to do a neutral look, we can do a neutral look. And I like when palettes have versatility like that. So I'm just keeping this right in here. You know, I need to get some ColourPop brushes. I have, I think, one. <laughs> but I need to get some. I'm just tapping right in here to this green. So I can test them out and let y'all know, like, if they're good. Because I think... They have a few brush sets. If you've tried ColourPop brushes, let me know. Are they worth the buy? Should I try them? Or if you're like me and you're like, mm, I don't know if they're that good. Should I buy them? Like, let me know if you want me to maybe pick up a few brushes. I could definitely review those. Maybe next time I make a ColourPop order. But this is really pretty. I'm just keeping this like midway and out but it's very pigmented 
blending very easily. Then I'm gonna go right in here to Awake, this dark green, I love dark colors. I'm just putting this in the outer part of my eye and then slightly underneath. Blending, blending, blending. This is pretty. It's very buildable, which is good. Blending right out here and around. Okay, before we do anything else, let's swatch these super shocks. Again, you have Tinkerbell on the front of the cap with the name of the shadow. So this is straight on till morning. This one is green. I was thinking about incorporating this one into the look. Very pretty. That has a real pretty like glittery sparkle to it. Okay, we might have to use that one. This next one is more of a neutral shade, but it looks like it has a lot of sparkle to it too. And this is flat to your heart. Very pretty pinky gold champagne type of color with a lot of sparkle. I'm into that. That might be pretty like on the inner corner. We'll have to try it. And then never grow up. Ooh. That's beautiful. That's going to be really pretty with those two more neutral mattes. Okay. Look at that. Very pretty. Ooh, and those are both very like shimmery, glittery, beautiful shades. Okay, so what I want to do is go in with Neverland. This shimmer right out here looks so beautiful. And I'm going to spray my brush because I always spray my brush when I use shimmers. So any makeup mist, whatever you have is fine. And I'm going to put this center of the lid and out. Very pretty shade. Okay, you can definitely see that this green is different than the greens in the palette. So I want to go in with the Super Shock Green, and we're going to put that right here on the part of the lid that I left blank. And with the Super Shock formula, I'm not going to wet my brush. And I'm going to flick that in to that darker green so that we get a nice blend. Okay, with the small brush, I'm going to go into place between, and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line, just blending it out like this, buffing it into the lash line and blending it down a little bit lower. I'm going to take the Super Shock and fly to your heart. I'm going to pick up just a little bit on my finger and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner just like that just for a little bit of shimmer and sparkle there. Now there were two eyeliners as a part of this collection. There is a bronzy shade that is called Lost Girl. <laughs> that took me a while. So this is just a bronze color. Now I will say these liners look like twist up you can sharpen them. I get asked that question so much. If you've been here for a long time, you know, I gave my mom some ColourPop lip liners and she threw them away because she thought they were like that. <laughs> I had to make her dig them out of the trash because I was like, no, you sharpen them. And then there's a green like this. Very pretty. I'm going to put the bronze in my waterline and then I'm going to put on some black mascara. I'm going to use my Essence Lash Princess and I will be back. Okay, y'all, this is our finished look. Did y'all notice I wore my little fairy girl earrings? <laughs> I'm so excited about this collection, if you cannot tell. Even though I know, like, I know I'm not at my best today, I couldn't wait to play with these products. So I hope you had fun watching. I already knew I loved these formulas. None of this is new formulas to me. I've tried ColourPop shadows, Super Shocks, eyeliners, these glossy lip stains. So, Really, it was just about the colors, the packaging, all of that. I love the colors. Hello, green is my favorite color. And I love that we have greens and neutrals. I love the shades of the cheek products. I love the shades of the eyeliners. 
I'm so happy with my purchase. Let me know. Do y'all want to see another look with this? I can definitely do something for Instagram. My Instagram is always linked down below if you want to follow me over there. But I have to give this collection an A++. I think this is so beautiful. Mm, I love it. I think this collaboration is beautiful. I love everything I have. Again, this is my first time trying it, but I, I mean, it's the same formulas I know and love. Like I have, like I have Super Shocks sitting in front of me from the Raw Beauty Christie collab to, I mean, I've been using these formulas for years. I hope you liked this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed because I have videos coming for you. <sighs> Today is Tuesday. I have several videos coming for you this week. I already have several videos filmed for y'all coming this week. So make sure you're subscribed. Share this video with your friends, family, social media, anybody who you think would enjoy my content. It helps me out so, so much when y'all share my videos. But I will see you again in another video very soon. Bye.